Ford of the class of the first sponsors of the Arkel, and that's it, and they're away in it. With Space Fair, the early leader in the center, bandaged and easy to distinguish. We come to the first, young Pokey right up there with them. Flashy Buck jumped at last, they're all safely over it. Space Fair, young Pokey, bound in duty over on the far side. Fragrant Dawn towards the near side. There's four being followed by Shamana. Young Pokey disputes it now with Space Fair and Fragrant Dawn. Fragrant Dawn towards the left of the picture, just taking it up now from Space Fair and Young Pokey and Bound in Duty and Shamana. Then comes Mass Appeal, Deep Sensation and Val Rodian. Behind them, Tin Ryland and Alkinor Rex and Flashy Buck as Fragrant Dawn lands over the third in the lead and they're going a right good gallop. Flashy Buck was a little bit deliberate and slow at that one. Young Pokey's in second and Space Fair third and Bounder Duty four, five, Shimano six, Val Rodian on the inside of Mass Appeal with Deep Sensation next and then Tin Ryland. Little gap to Flashy Buck and a further gap to Alkino Rex as the leaders and the whole field cross the fourth with the exception of Alkinor Rex, who was very slow at that one, has got himself tailed off and is being pulled up, in fact. So, as they run down the ten left in this Waterford Castle Arkle, they're being led at the fifth by Fragrant Dawn. Young Pokey on the outside, Space Fair. Then on the inner, Bound and Duty with Shamana close, and then Val Rodian. Deep sensation making ground towards the outer as they come towards the water. Fragrant Dawn lands in the lead from Young Pokey. Space Fair on the outside, Band and Duty on the inner, Shamana. Then comes Val Rodian. Then on the outside, making a little bit of ground, is Deep Sensation as they jump the first of the ditches. Mass Appeal made a mistake there, and Flashy Buck has gone. Flashy Buck a faller at that one, the horse all right. His rider beginning to sit up now over the eighth. Young Pokey moved up on the outside of Fragrant Dawn there. Space King on the outside of Shamana, Space Fair, I should say. Then on the inside is Bound and Duty as they race towards the final ditch four from home. Fragrant Dawn, the leader from Young Pokey, a little between those two. Space Fair, then comes Shamana, who's making quite good ground. Deep Sensation still going well towards the outside, but as they begin the run downhill, three left to jump, it's still Fragrant Dawn, the leader. Fragrant Dawn from Young Pokey, under pressure towards the left of the picture. Deep Sensation getting a reminder. Bound and Duty's not far off the lead towards the right of the picture. Space Fair is still there, too, coming down towards the next now. Three from home. Fragrant Dawn lands in the lead from Young Pokey. Space Fair, Deep Sensation on the outside. Shamana's got a chance, though, as they come down towards the second last. Fragrant Dawn now, Young Pokey. On the inside, Shamana. Space Fair, is Shamana a faller at that one. Rounding the home turn now in the Waterford Castle Arkle. And they've got one fence left to jump now. And it's Young Pokey who's gone to the front from Space Fair, Fragrant Dawn and Deep Sensation trying to reduce a run towards the stand side, but Young Pokey has the advantage. Tin Ryland's making ground. Young Pokey lands in the lead from Tin Ryland, who's moved into second. Then on the far side, Space Fair, Young Pokey the leader as they race up towards the line. It's Young Pokey and Jamie Osborne bidding for a double, and he's going to achieve it as they come to the line. Young Pokey has won the water, but Castle Arkle, second Tin Ryland and third Space Fair, and four was Deep Sensation, five and six, Fragrant Dawn and Bound and Duty, and behind them, Mass Appeal and Val Rodian. They're the only finishers, and so the result of the 1992 Waterford Castle Arkell Challenge Trophy is first, number nine, Young Pokey, owned by Mr. M. L. Oberstein, trained by Oliver Sherwood, and written by Jamie Osborne, a double for him. Second, number seven, Tin Ryland, owned by Mr. Michael Buckley, trained by Nicky Henderson, and written by Peter Scudamore. And third, number six, Space Fair, owned by Osborne House Limited, trained by Richard Lee, and written by Adrian McGuire. Fourth was number three, Deep Sensation. Yes, there with the first faller, Flashy Buck and Tom Tapp, back on their feet, happily in cantering back home.
So let's go back to the race itself and coming down here, the uh, point where Shimana exited. And Shimana just tucked in behind young Pokey there. You see a little white face just about to jump. The orange sle sleeves got very low, just couldn't keep her legs. But watch how Dunwoody's on his feet. He's up rolling and running very quickly. He's got self-preservation uh, there tugging at his nose. But as they come off the last bend, Jamie Osborne low to the saddle, pushing young Pokey in Morris Oberstein's colours as uh, Richard Lee's uh, animal here, Space Fair, ridden by Adrian Maguire, is the challenger. But there's a whole pack waiting to come from behind. Fragrant Dawn starting to eat the brighter yellow. Deep Sensation just coming into third place. Tin Ryland on the wide outside and Bound and Duty, the only other one in the picture. Well, young Pokey gets quite close to that, whereas Space Fair really leaps it. But he's got enough of a, a lead here to hang on. You can see that... Uh, Young Pokey coming slightly to the end of his tether, but he'd led them a merry dance off that last bend. Space Fair running the race of his life there, and Tin Ryland running on strongly up the hill with deep sensation back in four. But what an opener for young Osborne. Two races, two on the plate. Jonathan uh, 